Hello, my dear YouTuber friends, and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to talk about do my own video in effect on exporting and then importing controller profiles. If you didn't know, in Sim Update 3 Beta, which will hopefully become the release version soon, it gives you the option of exporting your flight controller profiles so that somebody else on PC at least can import them and use them. So I'm going to be showing you that and talking about that in this video. I'm also going to be talking about my where my profiles will be shared. I'm going to share them in Discord and I'm going to be talking about that and showing you that in this video too. So let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with this video. Okay, so for this test and the purpose of this video, I'm actually using my Velocity One flight stick. And I'll be testing sharing profiles with this in the Discord as well. Now, just for a bit of background, Simhanger, Mark from Simhanger, did a recent video on this as well. I'm going to link that down below in the description if you've not seen it. He did an excellent video and he had a very special guest star on that one. <laughs> Me! So there you go, I'm in this, I'm, I'm in the Cessna CT210N, I'll link my original review I did of this fantastic aircraft down below. Got a few things set up, things like a uh, view axis, both internally and externally, uh, reset cockpit view, some autopilot stuff. I've got controls to increase autopilot reference altitude, heading bug, put my autopilot on and then put heading on as well and then I can move around in heading mode I've got I'll put some sensitivities in the flight stick as well all various things uh, let's just get external again landing gear now landing gear am I too fast for landing gear maybe just slow down I'm gonna try landing gear again ah there we go landing gear toggle visual ex uh, markers as well so if you want to see airports like that one there then toggle them back off all that kind of things trim etc etc so let me just go to settings and controls and velocity one flight stick i've called it basic settings setup so for general controls and airplane controls if i go to assigned and like I said, this will be shared in my Discord. I'll talk about that a little bit later, where I'm going to share that. These are the settings, just really quite basic ones to begin with. <laughs> if you know me, I can go wild with these controllers. Let's start sharing them, shall we? I'm actually going to first duplicate so I don't lose these controls in case something goes wrong. I'm going to duplicate them. And I'm going to call them test. Nice and simple. Test. Okay. And this will spin around a bit. Don't worry about this. I'm also going to duplicate that. And call it test. Just for the purpose of this video. Test. There we go. Now at the moment I don't have any hardware settings set up in these. In Sim Update 3 Beta, just keep in mind this will only work on Sim Update 3 Beta and I believe only for PC Flight Sim 2024 at the moment. So test, test. If you go to the cog next to your actual controller and click hardware settings, I don't have any sensitivities. I do want to put a bit of sensitivities in the ailerons left and right movement. So I'm just going to put both minus and plus on minus 15, uh, 16, that will do, as it's there now. Oh, let's make it 15. Come on. Oh, it's a bit odd. There we go. <laughs> 15, 
15, please. Fif oh, good grief, I'm not getting it, am I? Probably use my keyboard just to fine tune that, but I'll just try it with my mouse for now. 15, thank you. So minus 15 and the plus and minus sensitivities for ailerons. Go back, save and back. Just going to try that out, just to make sure that's okay. Get in the cockpit. Oh, I've got it on autopilot. Let's take it off autopilot. Yeah, it feels a bit better in the aileron movement. Obviously, some people find the flight stick a bit stiff, so you may not like that. And that's not final. That's just as a test. Well, let's go on to the next part. So the next part will be actually exporting these. Just go over that again, just in case it was a bit too fast. To adjust the sensitivities, you have to go to the cog next to your actual controller name. And go to hardware, which I have done, as you saw before. The aileron uh, axis X there. I've adjusted them. And I've renamed my basic setup to test. That's how far we got. And remember, this is the latest Sim Update 3 beta on PC. So to export both of them, I'll do the general controls first. I'm going to go to this cog next to the general controls name, test. Go to export. And I'm going to go, to, I've got a folder set up in documents, Flight Sim 2024 profiles. I'll call it test. Uh, test. Uh, general there we go test general if there's any interference on the mic by the way i do apologize i have been listening back to my recordings they can get a bit crackly sometimes but it does die down your profile has been successfully exported to and that's the folder i exported it to and it's an xml file uh, but don't worry about that and then airplane control same thing go to the cog next to the name the one you want to export. Go to export. And it's documents. Flight Sim 2024 profiles where I want them. Test. And I'll call that airplanes. And save. your profile has been ex successfully exported to. Now for this test, it's only going to be for me. If you're going to import these, you can import them and they'll be called test under general and airplanes. They should be in. I'll show you that later. What I'm going to do first is delete these test profiles now because I want to delete them and then import them back in. So I'm going to delete general controls. Now it switches back to basic when I do that. And the test for aeroplanes as well. I'm going to delete. This is only for me testing. You don't need to do this. And it may still show up here until you restart Flight Sim. So you can just see test coming up there. It's not actually there. It's just a bit buggy. Even in the beta here. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back. Save and back. Because I've deleted them. Go to the main menu. And quit out of Flight Sim. And restart it. And I'll bring you back. Okay, so Flight Sim 2024 is restarted. If we go to controls, you can see it's restarted because I've not even clicked on my flight stick. Test should no longer be there now. You've got basic setup. I've got a reverse that I did a video on some time ago, I believe. I don't know what two is. But there you go. And there's no test in airplane controls. Well, there shouldn't be. Just my basic and a couple of other things. I've set up. So now what we're going to do is import them and test them. This will be interesting. So I'll go to general controls first, import. And I'm going to go to the place where I saved them, which is documents for me, Flight Sim 2024 profiles, and general first. Hopefully that's. Yeah, okay, it took a second. <laughs> it got me a bit worried. Your profile has been successfully imported. You should get that sign. There you go, test, it's back in. And I'm going to do the same for airplane controls. Import, documents, profiles, airplanes. Give it a second. It takes a second. There you go, profile has been successfully imported. And we'll just give this a test now. Test, test. I'm going to go to assigned. Yep, looks like it's all there. 
And I'm just going to go to hardware. Remember, it's on, under the name of the actual controller. Hardware. Yeah, look, they've stayed in that. It's got 14% there. It's interesting. Did I put them to 15? Interesting. So that's the aileron axis. Let me just grab my flight stick. I don't want my... Every time I move my headphones now <laughs> that I'm recording on, my mic kind of crackles. Apologies if is that happens again. There you go. But something's in. Pretty sure they were 15%. Save them back. I've got them both on test. Free flight. Oh, come on. I thought it was over there. There we go. Manchester Airport. Home base. Set as departure. We'll go fly. Hopefully this will just be straight in. And then we can test these profiles. So what I'm going to do is just take it up. Test everything. I've even got rudder set as a twist axis. On the flight stick, of course. Right, there we go. Toggle visual assistances, you can see them on there. Take them off. Autopilot altitude, watch this. I've got one of my hat switches set up for that. Heading bug, watch here. Yeah, it's all fine. External mode, look around, fine. Cockpit, look around, reset cockpit view. Throttle up, release the parking brake. Testing the rudders, it all seems to be there, people. Let me just get up in the air and test those sensitivities. So it seems that the importing works, although it did put my hardware profiles there, the sensitivities down a notch for whatever reason. I think it's still a little bit buggy, is that a surprise? Gear up. External to see that gear going up. Lovely aircraft this once again. <laughs> if you've not got this, go and look at my review of the aircraft. Anyway, regardless, autopilot, I've got a button set up for that. Heading, I've got a button set up for that. That's fine. Move my heading bug around, it's following heading. Take it off autopilot. Check the sensitivities on my ailerons. Yeah, that feels good for me. We've even got some trim set up on buttons. I prefer buttons on the flight stick for trim. And it all seems to be working fine as it should do. So there you go, people. That's how you would export and import user profiles. What I'm going to do now is show you Discord and show you where I'm going to share these particular profiles. Okay, so over on Discord. If you've not joined Discord, link down below in the description as always. It's like a default setting I've got when I put up a video the Discord link. Go and join it and then scroll down the channel list. You've got different channels like general chat, Flight Sim 2024 chats, questions. Scroll down the list of channels until you see Hoddison's. Now where is it? Hoddison's. It's under controller settings. Hoddison controller setups. I've got various things linked in there but I've just linked my basic controller Basic. These are basic. I can do more with the Velocity 1 flight stick which I am t intending to do upcoming. Uh, for both general and airplanes. What you do here is just download. Click on download. You get the airplanes XML file and the general XML file and then you just import them in your sim on PC in Sim Update 3 beta for now uh, like I just showed you in this video. I'll be sharing more of these. I've got other profiles set up for different controllers, so I'll be sharing more of these as time goes along. I'll do these as a test. I'll probably also ask our Discord, I'll put a question to them, whether they would like a separate channel so that people can share each other's profile setups. I think that would be a good thing to do. So there you go. That's how you import sorry export and import profiles give these a try if you're on pc and on sim update 3 beta and you can play around with those profiles as well add more to them if you want let me know your thoughts give the video a like if you've enjoyed it and it's been helpful subscribe for more and i'll see you soon